Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So previously I posted on the channel that if you find yourself in the EEA, the European Economic Area, uh, that soon you'll be able to uninstall Edge. And this change was possible due to the Digital Markets Act DMA in the EEA. Now that, as mentioned previously, was all going to take place on the 6th of March. And just to let you know now that on the 7th of March, Microsoft now has started the rollout of those changes for users in the European Economic Area to comply with the EU's Digital Markets Act DMA. So basically, in a nutshell now, you are able to uninstall Microsoft Edge from Windows if you choose to do so, if you find yourself in one of those regions. Now, just a quick recap. Um, the Digital Markets Act DMA is basically um, a law that is designed to prevent um, major companies, which are also termed gatekeepers, and obviously Microsoft is one of those, from using their market power, basically, uh, for unf unfair advantages in the market. So that's basically what this is all about. Now, just to let you know that, um, as mentioned, Microsoft has started to roll out these updates for automatic installation. And this is to both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And you can anticipate, as Microsoft says, finishing the rollout for EEA users by early April 2024. So basically, you've got a month or so for this to fully roll out. And if you're not seeing these changes we're going to talk about uh, in this video today, then um, you need to make sure that this toggle is turned on on your Windows Update page and you need to check for updates. And that's because Microsoft says users in the EEA who want to use the DMA compliant versions of Windows 10 or Windows 11 now can get it by turning on the get, this, get the latest updates as soon as they're available. Um, as mentioned, that's this toggle feature for Windows Update in your settings menu. So that and then obviously check for updates because that will then download the latest updates and then you will be then um, obviously be able to uninstall Microsoft Edge with a couple of other changes um, to meet those uh, to meet the comp the compliancy of the DMA. Now um, something else to take note of um, just to highlight a couple of these changes to Windows for the DMA compliance and some of these um, just to mention some of the key highlights that Microsoft has highlighted with these changes. Uh, the first is you can now uninstall Edge, which I think is the big one. And also Bing Web Search using the built-in settings. And earlier, obviously, this option was grayed out. Now, I'm not in the EEA. And just a quick recap regarding this. So if you head to your All Apps list and you head down to Microsoft Edge and you right-click, you will now see an uninstall option. Yeah. And if we head back to our settings and this time we head to Apps, Installed apps, um, obviously because I'm not in the EEA, this option is still grayed out. But just to show you, in case you're unaware, you can see uninstall. Now, if you are in the European um, economic area, these changes now will include that uninstall button becoming active. And then you can obviously uninstall Edge and also Bing Web Search. So just take note of that. Then the next thing is that uh, third-party web search apps App developers can now utilize the Windows search box in the taskbar and choose any web browser to show results from the web, which I think is another big one. Then moving on to number three, um, it also mentions there that Microsoft will no longer sign in users to Edge, Bing, and Microsoft Start Services during the initial Windows setup experience. So I think that's another big one. And then here we can see changes in data handling. And just to mention these quickly, the first one under this section Data collected about the functioning of functioning of non-Microsoft apps from Windows PCs will not be used for competitive purposes. And then the last one here, Microsoft, they say, will need um, user consent before combining data from the OS and other sources. So just take note of that. So there we've got a couple of key um, compliance changes taking place now. And those are the changes to Windows for DMA compliance. And we've just mentioned five in total. And those are the key highlights. And as mentioned, if you do find yourself in the EEA, um, these changes will finish uh, completely rolling out um, by early April 2024. So just take note of that. So 
you are now able to uninstall Edge. And I think for a lot of users who, for whatever reason, don't use Microsoft Edge, I think that is a nice move in the right direction. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.